ECU football takes on SMU tomorrow night, trying for its first win in the conference this season. The Pirates lead the all-time series 5-4, to four, and they know to keep ahead, they'll have to turn in their best game of the season on offense and defense. They have great length, uh, great athleticism, run really well. Um, pro probably the best defense that uh, I've seen them have since we've been playing them. SMU's defense is only allowing about 18 points per game. They are scoring around 34 points per game on offense. The ECU offense knows they'll have to dictate not only the pace of play, but also keep up with those points against that tough defense. I yeah, see so a strong unit, not overly complicated, which, uh, you know, sometimes that's a pain as a coach. You go, wow, what are they doing? Well, it's worse when you say they don't have to do all that. That means they got really good players. For the Pirates' defense, it's a fast-moving offense they're facing who likes to play up-tempo with many weapons on the edge. ECU's defense knows it will take a full-game effort to get it done on Thursday night. The combination of the, you know, the quarterback's athleticism, all their weapons, and then the tempo uh, will be challenged. The best way to slow a tempo team down is put them in negative situations or stop them for a loss. Now they're second and 10 or third and 10. They have to slow down, take their time. At the same time, you know, it still comes down to the fundamentals of the game and make sure we're doing a great job with our eyes, great job tackling, and just focus on our fundamentals, trying to create a few turnovers as well.